Okay, let's add a new level of complexity and build a new installer. This application that I've got arranged here in the number three folder in your source files files folder is a little bit different. It's more typical uh, compared to applications that people are usually working with. So, for example, we've got a folder substructure here that needs to be kept intact with our application and that's going along with our application. So we've got our main application on the top level. Below that we've got a help system now installed and if I run the application you'll see that there's actually a help link now and when we click that it brings up this quick start guide in the web browser and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use this application. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that and as you can see there's also a folder full of subfolders with supporting files for our application now. It's all external, it's not contained within the AXE file. Okay, so this is more typical of what most people are using and let's take a look at how we'll create an installer for this. Additionally, we'll add a couple new wrinkles to the install process. So we'll start up Setup Factory. Again, it's going to remember our information from the last install so we'll just press Create New Project and it goes through the process here. We'll click Next and we'll browse to our number three folder in our source files uh, slash files folder and here's the difference we're going to do this time. Instead of including the files in the subfolders, let's go ahead and uncheck that and we'll add those folders via drag and drop just to show you how it's done. So I'll go ahead and press next. We'll leave our other settings set up as their default or as what we've been using rather and we'll press finish. Now as you can see we've got the first three files but we don't have those subfolders. Let's go ahead and drag and drop those just to see how that works. I'm going to make my application a little smaller and bring my folder over here and take a look at how we do this. I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop these two folders right into this archive tab here. It's going to ask me if I want to add them as a folder reference and I'm going to answer yes. I'm going to go ahead and maximize our application and you see what we have now. Now we've got our three main files from the top and we added those with the wizard and then we drag and dropped these folders in here and they've got the files that are inside them included along with them in this particular uh, application because that's a folder reference. So let's go ahead and set up some options that we haven't looked at so far. Now so far our main application has been installing with a weird uh, default title of Autoplay Media Studio uh, Professional Application. Let's change that. So we'll double click on the IR Forum EXE application and we'll go into the shortcuts tab here and we'll change the name of our shortcut. So we're going into the description area of the properties section here and we're just going to go ahead and type in headline grabber. Okay, and Then we'll press OK. That's going to change the title that gets installed in the program menu. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here for our quick start PDF. First of all we'll go into the shortcuts tab and check the start menu app folder box here so that it installs a a shortcut for this app uh, particular document and then in the description area we'll go ahead and type help guide. We'll press OK and we're basically ready to go. Let's go ahead and publish our application. So I'll build it to a single file again. I'm just going to overwrite the existing one that was there and we'll go ahead and run this installer. As you can see we've got the familiar installer environment we've had so far. We've got the same screens. Now of course we could remove these screens, we can customize these screens, we can do anything we want with them. We've just been working with the default screens from the project wizard so far. And that's fine. I, I wanted everybody to just get up and running right away and you know not having to spend an hour listening to a whole bunch of core concepts. Just get in there and start building. So that's why we're working with the defaults for now. Okay so we're gonna just press next, go through all this process, let it install, and go to our program menu. Now let's see what we've got. We've got our headline grabber category and underneath that we've got our headline grabber now it says uh, for our application and help guide. So the titles that we put in for the shortcuts uh, change. Now let's go ahead and start our application and see if it works properly. If those program folders weren't installed properly our application will not work because those are the supporting files. So for example let's go ahead and click on our help link and as you can see our help system launches perfectly well everything was kept intact and everything works perfectly within our application. So for example if we go ahead and click on or double click rather one of these links we get the appropriate content in our web browser from the Indigo Rose forums and everything's working perfectly. So Setup Factory automatically parsed that folder subsystem for us when we drag and drop those folder references in here and it included all the files, set them up properly and during the program install recreated the original structure so that everything worked well. So as you can see here it took us you know all of two minutes to build quite a complex installer when you think about what's going on. Um, let's go ahead and uninstall our program. So go to headline grabber, uninstall headline grabber, 
press next, and it's done. That's it. It's gone off our system. If we go back to the program menu, there's nothing there. So as you can see, Setup Factory builds bulletproof installers, lightning fast, with very little hassle. You just basically go in there, change a few things, drag your files in, and off you go. So let's go ahead now and add another level of complexity to what we're doing here and build a new installer.